Hey guys, what is going on? This is Jaren, and today I'll be giving you 5 tips on how you can farm for your UR accessory much faster. Alright, so first of all, I'm gonna show you guys my progress. Um, I'm gonna show you how much I was able to farm. Um, I am able to farm for my UR ring, which I was able to finish already, as you can see over here. So I have my UR ring finished, so I am down with 4 accessories. I am using my um, Dynasty earrings and my um, Dynasty, um, Nasen necklace, so, and one more Nasen ring. So. For my dynasty earrings, I am 3 out of 5 over here, and I lack 40 more beads. And uh, for my other ring, I am 4 out of 5, I just need my recipe, which I will talk about later. Um, for my, um, wait, I'm not using that, I'm not using that. Alright, so for my other earring over here, um, I have 4 out of 5, I am done with my, uh, res um, yeah, beads. But stuff is the recipe, which I will talk about later, as I mentioned, and for my necklace, I am done with three parts, and I uh, just need uh, 26 of these. And for the necklace, I will do. Uh, I will um, explain it later as well. So let's talk about beads. So farming beads is quite the hardest part, if you ask me. Yeah, it's really the hardest part. Uh, but uh, you can do it easily by farming at these mobs uh, from Dynasty and uh, for Dynasty mobs and uh, nor uh, random bead spot so for the first tip that i will give you is make a ur normal weapon since um those two mobs that i mentioned um are both normal uh yeah normal and human normal and human and uh it is best to make a ur normal weapon same like i have um just max attribute at least plus 20 next update will be uh, tw plus 20 will be quite easier so you can try to get that to plus 20 um, max limit break if you can max attribute is a must and yeah so try to get it to UR um, that will help you quite a lot and the next step that I will give you is use soul shots and clan buff when farming for beads as you can see I'm using my soul shots and I have some of my clan buffs up All right so I have some of my clan buffs up um, I usually just have this up and the uh, the other two however you can use movement speed as well if you're melee like blade dancers warlords if you're using swords, if you're using um, shield, um, if you're melee, basically if you're melee, use uh, movement speed as well. Um, since the mechanic for treasure guard is whoever does the most damage, will be whoever will be uh, the person to get the treasure guard. So if you if there are a lot of people farming in your spot, uh, farming in those field, which is most likely um, everyone is farming at, try to get the treasure guard by using clan buffs and soul shots. Um, the next tip I will give you is for the recipes. So for the recipes, I would uh, suggest to you to do um, guillotine and zaken. Guillotine and zaken gives you 100% gives you rip recipes. So re rip recipes will lead you to making more recipes, and um, and they also have a chance to give you random recipes like normal weapon, normal armor. Can also give you rare weapons and rare armor. So just um, try to get try to. Um, go to them every time. Um, guillotine is at 11 a.m. and 11 p.m. every day, and Zaken is at 10 p.m. every day. And for the next one is rift spamming. So, rift spamming is a really a must if you ask me for making U arc. Since um, here are some of the boxes that I have from rift spamming. Um, yeah, I use two characters from rift spamming to help me um, clear it much faster. So. Um, if you use, uh, if you farm a lot of this temporal rift box, you can farm a lot of scraps. Like, oh wait, I don't have slots. I can open 30. So here it is, you have a chance to get limit break energy. You have a chance to get attribute energy. You have a chance to get rip recipe fragment. And a lot of unconfirmed scraps, a lot of equipment um, boxes, and some equipment material boxes. So all the stuff that is inside are really, really nice. Um, these are some of the equipment material boxes that I was able to get. Let's open some to see how much you can get. So there, you can get um, rare materials and normal materials. However, no gold ingots, but it's fine. Um, gold ingots are quite easy. So that's my tip for spam and do scan buffs. Um, and let's just run over everything. So first of all, it's normal weapon. Second is do risk spamming. Third is use clan buffs and soul shots. Um, fourth is um, do zaken and guillotine. And for the last tip that I will give you is for the recipes. So I told you that I will talk about recipes later on and let's talk about them now. So what can you do with all these recipes? So you, let's say you have quite a few number of recipes. 
uh, which you will not use or you already use. So one thing you can use them for is exchanging them into um, unconfirmed accessory recipe. As you can see over here, if you have five unconfirmed weapon or five unconfirmed armor, you can exchange them. Uh, yeah, you can exchange them into um, unconfirmed accessory. So five, five unconfirmed weapon will yield you one unconfirmed accessory. Five unconfirmed armor will yield you one unconfirmed accessory. So, um, so that's one way you can get um, more recipes. Another is just by um, salvaging SR. SR equipment, SR accessories. So, salvaging SR accessories will give you this, and um, getting f ten, getting ten um, ripped accessory recipe fragment will yield you one accessory recipe. So, try to salvage SR accessories for more recipe. And another tip is keep all those similar recipes, because in the next update, all those similar recipes, like um, all these nasen, nasen ring, nasen necklace, nasen egg rings. All those Ascend stuff will be combined into one recipe. So I have 12, 9, and 2, which is 23. So after the next update, or at least their next big update, um, these three will yield into one recipe, which will be Nasen recipe, and it will total 23. And all your, um, all your accessories will just need all that single one recipe. So all my accessories, will, uh, all Nasen's will just need Nasen recipe, all black ore will just need black or recipe and all that stuff all dynasty earring all dynasty accessories we just need dynasty recipes so keep all, the, all your similar stuff even though you don't need them if you're if you're done with let's say you're done with your black or ring and you're only left with your black or earrings just keep all your black or rings keep all your black or necklaces and you will be able to uh, finish your black or earrings when those things get combined uh, so it's the same with my dynasty. I have seven dynasty rings, seven necklace, and four earrings, which will yield me eighteen. So I will just need two more to finish my dynasty. So basically, the next update, I will just be needing a few more beads and a few more um, recipes, and my whole set is done. That's it. That's all from farming. I never bought any of the bundles. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys that I never bought any bundles. So here we are. I don't. I did never bought any bundles, as you can see. All right. So just a quick run through. Um, so tip number one is normal weapon, you are normal weapon, and farming on these uh, monsters right here, 322 if you're 320. Just be sure to farm at uh, levels that are 3 levels um, above or below you. So only 3 level gap is allowed. At 4 level gap, you will get uh, some optimal drops. So um, for 320s, these are good. Um, for 317, these are good too. For 317 to, 320, uh, to uh, 311. Then uh, 310 or 39, these are good, and all that stuff. Just um, be sure to plus minus 3 uh, for your levels. Um, what else? Uh, Rift spamming. Rift spamming gives you a lot of scraps, gives you recipes uh, as well. Uh, clan buff and soul shot to make you farm faster and give you more treasure guards. And um, Zaken and Guillotine will give you more recipe scraps. I mean, yeah, more recipe uh, fragments, which can yield to more recipes. Um, keep all your other recipes, um, similar recipes to what you need, because uh, they will be combined later on. And you can exchange your weapon recipes and armor recipes into accessory recipe. That's it guys, I think you should be able to uh, follow all those tips. If you were able to follow all the tips, you should notice that your farming for um, beads and your recipes should be a lot faster, really really faster. Alright, so I hope you guys learned something, uh, I hope you guys... Uh, We'll be able to follow all these steps and we'll, I hope you guys get more beads and more recipes that you need, of course. Um, and um, yeah, uh, that's it. Thank you for watching, guys. Please hit that thumbs up if you like this video. Please be sure to subscribe for more videos and I, I will see you and I will see you all next time.